MagSafe grips are probably my favorite accessories to talk about. This pop grip, this isn't number one anymore. When it comes to grips, I've updated my scoring system for the iPhone 16s. I've noticed this trend where cases are getting thinner, which means, well, the MagSafe grip has to be better. Let's get started, shall we, Monty? Number 10 goes to the Rhino Shield grip. Oh, Rhino Shield's latest grip is actually really good. But there's one thing I've been complaining about with this product and they haven't fixed it yet. Connecting the base of the grip to the top of the grip are these two rigid plastic pieces. Slides up and down. There's a satisfying click to it. There's a lot of space between the bottom so your fingers don't get fatigue after a while. It doesn't feel like my fingers are getting smushed. Now the neat part about this product is that this rotates down and you can turn it into a stand like that. Ooh. One of the things I like about Rhino Shield is that there's a lot of designs to choose from. This grip is relatively small compared to, you know, something like this. It's incredibly comfortable, easy to open if you've got the right case, and I've got really nervous fingers and this thing's almost like a uh, fidget spinner. Almost. And one of the cons with this product is the uh, connection strength. It's not that great. Another issue I have is the bulk. It's not a big grip, but the edges of this grip will catch onto things like your pan pocket. Last thing I'll note is that this is cool, but it's a little unstable. This was number 10. This is number nine. This is the Love Handle Pro. I'll be honest with you, calling your company Love Handle is terrible. The footprint of this grip is pretty significant. The kickstand opens and closes with a satisfying click and the grip portions actually integrated into that kickstand. It's this giant elastic. Almost all the grips for the Love Handle Pro are rubbery. This is a really old one, it's fabric and you, they don't let you custom print this anymore. When it comes to Pro, I just like how easily it works. Like things just slip in, sometimes accidentally you don't want it to. Portrait mode like this is incredibly stable and with the rubbery grips, the uh, iPhone isn't going anywhere because well, this is rubbery. Right? But there are some cons with this product. The grip itself, when you're using it like so, is pretty comfortable, but this rubber band is compressing against your fingers. And so you get some soft tissue compression, which gets annoying with uh, extended periods. This is especially prevalent when you're uh, viewing your iPhone like this. But the biggest kicker for me is the price. This is the most expensive grip in the video, coming in at 60 to $70. I will note that Love Handle has a wallet version and that thing does really well in my top 10 list uh, for MagSafe wallet. So check that out. So this was number nine. Let's talk Talk about number 10, which is this. It's the Osnap 4. I'm surprised this made it to the top 10, but I do have to give kudos to Osnap. The Osnap 4 is a decent upgrade from the Osnap 1, 2, and 3. Only if you could get over its fatal flaw. Now what I'm showing you is the Lux version. It has a metallic base. Accessing the grip wires to either pop the sides and get a finger under it. It's a little annoying. The base of the grip is connected by these thin pieces of plastic to the center column. A pro with this product is that it is incredibly thin. One of the thinnest. This thing is so thin that a MagSafe charger can charge through it. That's pretty cool and it's the only grip that does this. When it comes to cons, well, accessing it is a little annoying at times and it's not terribly comfortable. The spacing between the bottom and the top of the grip is a little small and so it feels like my fingers are being constantly compressed by this product. And despite being metallic in nature, this entire product feels really, really cheap. Now the flay to flow with this product is that you have to physically stick the grip to your iPhone. It's really hard to take it off once you put it on. And this blows my mind because Apple designed MagSafe so that you can easily swap accessories in and out. But being forced to stick something on the back of my iPhone kind of negates that entire purpose. Sure, it still works with a MagSafe charger, but what happens if I want to use a MagSafe wallet? This is a silly look. Now when it comes to MagSafe grips, I score each product on 17 different criteria. It's actually a lot for grips, uh, which include how many ways I can stand it up, how comfortable it is to use when I'm sitting and lying down, how strong the magnetic connection is, the durability, as well as any other extras the product might have. This is number seven. It's the Moft Snap Phone Tripod Stand. Up until this product, I wasn't a big fan of Moft. This is one of my favorite MagSafe accessories. It's awesome. Now Moft makes a lot of weird products, I'll admit, but with this tripod stand, like it is, it's a clear winner. When you use this thing at first, it seems very, very intimidating because there's just a lot of pieces to it. But this thing allows you to prop your iPhone up in four different ways. You can even use it as a tripod to film Monty. Say hi, Monty. Now you might be wondering, where is the grip? It's right here. Now I know some of you will gawk at me calling this a grip, but with this setup, my iPhone's weight is distributed across four different fingers. My fingers do not get as tired as some of these other grips when I'm using this for a long period of time. But here's the thing, because it's a stand, you can just set your iPhone like that and just scroll mindlessly like this. Being able to set it up like this is very useful for video calls. But even if you're just sitting at your desk, being able to plug your iPhone in like this and have a charge while it's facing you, oh, primo. Now, when it comes to cons with this product, I honestly cannot think of any. It does take two hands to get it into the state that you want. And maybe I'll gripe about the build quality is that I dropped it and now the metal plate is resting at the bottom. So this is number seven. Number six is the ESR. 
Geo Wallet. I've been using this thing for over a year. I'm still a really big fan of it. This Geo Wallet is so many things. It's a stand, it's a three card wallet, it's an air tag. This is like the Swiss army knife of MagSafe grips. This hinge allows you to set your iPhone at any angle that you want. You can store up to three cards and access is quite easy. It's a very slim package for all the things that it can do. And at 40 bucks, it's a little more expensive as a grip, but it's got so many other things, it's just, it's a steal of a deal from my perspective. But when it comes to cons for this product, out of all the products I have, this is actually one of the heaviest. Loop is basically only big enough for one finger. Maybe you could fit two. And if you're only using one finger with it, your finger's gonna get tired uh, with extended usage. Now this gets kind of offset by the fact that like you could use the hinge as a grip as well. So that was number six. This is number five. It's called the Kick Pop. What's nice about this product is that the profile is very, very small. Sits so very close to the iPhone. Centerpiece clips in and out, and the base is connected to the center column with a piece of rubber. And oddly enough, it's actually really easy to rotate this grip. You can also turn this grip into a stand. Now, there are a lot of designs to choose from uh, with this product, but the big thing for me is the profile. The rubber piece of the grip has a lot of give to it, so your fingers don't feel like they're being sandwiched all the time. And I really do like the matte finish on all of the grips. But because of this finish, it's gonna slide around really easily. Like, wee! Getting to the center column of this grip is a little annoying because you gotta pry it with a fingernail. There's no way to like pop it out, which is something I could do with my uh, number one pick. This is a good, simple grip. It's reasonably priced, but I haven't been able to find it on Amazon in the last a few weeks, so I'm not quite sure what the deal is with them. This was number five. Here's number four. It's a Flowlab Snap Grip. Did you know that, Monty? Flowlab makes more than just glass. Now the Snap Grip is a pretty clever accessory. It's both a wallet and a grip. While it has a two card capacity, Flub's got a ton of different colors that you can choose from. And at 20 bucks, this is one of the better priced products in this video. Now I'm a big fan of how you access the grip. I got really fidgety fingers and this, this is so much fun. But this little tongue is like a superhero because in a pinch you could use it as a vent mount as well as a tripod mount for continuity mode for your iPhone. One of the benefits of this product is that your iPhone is not gonna slide around easily. And unlike most grips in this collection, I can access this grip with one hand. With all that being said, this grip is not good at night. When you're using the grip, the weight of the iPhone basically sits right on this finger. The fingers basically become a shelf for the iPhone. But say you're lying in bed and this grip is not going to work at all. It takes a lot of effort to pinch this little thing together. But here's the wonderful thing about MagSafe is that you can just swap out the grip. You can get one better for bedtime, which leads us to MagSafe grip number three. I'll be honest, I almost took this funny looking plug out of the list. This funny looking thing is the Encase MagStem. Now some of you might think I'm crazy for having this at number three, but that's what my ranking system said. For good reason. The Encase MagStem is incredibly comfortable. There's nothing on this product that moves. There's a base, there's a centerpiece, and a rigid center column. And out of all the grips I've tested, it is the most comfortable. I can use this grip for hours on end because of the rigid stem. There is no pressure on my fingers. If you're a person who uses your iPhone a lot, lying down like so, this grip is for you. Now the most obvious con is the size. It will not fit in your pocket easily. But for me personally, this is not a go out type of grip. This is a stay at home type of grip. I have one of these in my bathroom. Your fingers are gonna thank you when you have a marathon number two. I know Monty, kind of gross, but real usage. Now I almost took this product out of my top 10 because I couldn't find it online because the name of this product has changed. First it was the Lolly Locket, then it was just called the Encased Grip, and now it's the Encased of Megstem Grip, so. Hmm. Now if you're thinking about getting one one of these grips, I would really appreciate it if you use my links. I'm a reviewer, not an influencer, and I'm not sponsored by any of these brands, so my recommendations are purely based on my own testing and opinions. The links are how I am able to keep all my content unsponsored, relatively unbiased, um, and it gives me the ability to feed Monty. This was three. Here's two. <gasps> it's the pop grip round. Now between my top three picks, the uh, score difference was less than half a point. Like it's, it was pretty tight, but the pop grip round has finally been dethroned. Now to be clear, number two goes to the pop grip round. The normal pop grip is number seven, I think. And the pop grip wallet, this thing is number 10. I just didn't include them all uh, together because I didn't want to talk about pop socket all the time. This grip is very thin and very light and has a really nice profile to it. When it comes to magnetic strength, it's number two in the list. It is very, very strong. You do not have to worry about your iPhone coming off, even if you do this. When it comes to Pro, it's a freaking pop socket on the back of your iPhone that you can easily remove. 
Yeah. Now when it comes to cons, depending on the pop socket that you use, it will either become a top or an air hockey puck. This thing turns into a stand for a portrait mode, though it's kind of unstable. But if you're on the fence about a grip, just go with this one. It just works. And the number one grip for the iPhone is this. It's the Tango Grip. The profile on this grip is very, very thin. Now to use this grip, you press down and pop it open. That's right, there is a spring holding the base to the centerpiece of the uh, grip. This thing can be used as a stand, kind of like the pop socket. This thing is mostly metal, so other MagSafe accessories will attach to it. You can't charge through it, but you know, if you wanted to mount it on something, you could. The biggest pro for me with this product is the access. It is so quick and easy to use this grip. Honestly, this is the only grip I can access without looking at it incredibly easily with one hand. Yeah, 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 you could do it with the pop socket, but you still gotta pull it out. But with this thing, it just, pops out. This grip has a soft rubber coating, so it's not gonna slide around easily. And from a wear and tear perspective, I've been using this consistently for about six weeks, and I don't think there's anything wrong with the spring, but given how much of this grip moves, I'm curious to know how it's gonna look like after a year. Now, when it comes to cons, this thing is not as comfortable as the mag stem, not as comfortable as a pop grip. Um, when it's vertical like this, it's not too bad. But when you're lying down, this thing is not that comfortable. Which means this thing's gonna tie your hands out a little quicker than the other grips in my top three or four. All right, that's all I got for this video. Questions, comments, leave them down there. Is this a grip you think I should go check out? So let me know. Again, if you're planning on getting one of your products, make sure you use my links. I'm a reviewer, not an influencer. I just want you guys to have the best products uh, for your iPhones. So support me by using my links. Thanks for watching.